So in the next couple minutes, I'm going to share with you exactly how to create prompts that get outputs just like this, where we can combine different inputs that we inject into these prompts and then even use automation tools to chain these together and build context that builds on top of each other, connecting these different prompts together to ultimately create full on content strategies, content formats in all types and uh, all use cases. And really, this is just scratch the surface of what's actually possible so i'm going to also give you access to this prompt gpt which you guys can get by joining the community if you're watching this anywhere outside i don't know what you're doing check the links in or around this video here and basically i'm going to share with you now first the framework that we use to create prompts like this the kind of methodology and thinking that you need to understand to be able to create any prompt for any use case where you can then again use these prompts to connect them together and create these full autonomous systems that build on top of each other where first maybe you create context on your target personas your products and your service your brand and your company and then you can use that to then inject it into the next prompts that then help you come up with content ideas and topics and all the way down to the final content right make sure to check out my latest content posted on this exact system and framework here but let's dive into it right if you want to create prompts like this that allow you to, again, use automations or even just copy and paste in the context into here, you're gonna get way, 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 way better responses than what most people out there are, are doing. And again, just to explain that point further here, again, you can use these automation tools here to basically inject context dynamically, right? So you could use a tool like Make here, in this case, here it's even scraping context from a website and then feeding that into the prompt here. And then you can chain these together, right? So that way, one prompt builds on top of the next it's kind of using all the previous results here and dynamically connecting things together however that's a little bit too much for this video i'll show you the foundations that you need for the prompt engineering first what you want to do is you need to define a very clear who statement right so like who is this persona that the bot has what's the background knowledge and kind of the guardrails for thinking that you want this person to have because we all know ai can get very generic right so we want to make sure that it has the kind of guardrails that are specific for the task right so this might be the who statement for this specific prompt right here right. then we have another one this one here is creating youtube titles right so i give it the persona that's relevant for this use case right and that's always step number one right here's another one just for an example you love me some uh, of those og copywriters there inject those in that's going to get you some good results most of the time and we want to then pair that up with a very clear why statement right so what's the actual task or goal of what we're trying to achieve here right the more specific the better right so that's where you want to give it some context on the bigger picture as well of what the hell we're trying to do here in the first place right so in this one the goal is to create an engaging value-packed actionable long from social media post right that's using this context and that context in combination with this right i mean you guys can read this yourself and this tells it kind of the bigger picture of how to then also use the context that's coming up here and what's the big idea of what we're trying to achieve here right so for the youtube titles right to make sure i have some uh, fomo and urgency i already tell them that here but then we get more specific down the road here but before we do so first we want to give it the what's right so what is the stuff that we wanted to process especially again if you're using automated or even prompt chains as a whole where again you generate the context on the target persona first so you can then inject that into the next prompt here that's going to help you create the actual content it, the ai can then have the context on the target persona right so that's where we want to define the what's right so what is it that you want to analyze right the very basic uh, example might be this prompt right here that creates the titles literally all i feed it is the transcript of the video here and that's the only what that i uh, give it access to right i do have some more instructions here and that's the final step here the how right so once we've defined the the who we've defined the why we've defined the what right and again this can be injected automatically as well and then we want to go into the nitty-gritty the exact how the exact step-by-step -step instructions on how we want the ai to actually complete the goal or the task right so again you can even use this i've used this for segmenting my inbound emails when i'm doing outbound outreach is it the positive response negative or neutral then i can again connect this to automations that do certain 
actions, right? But again, you want to be just very clear as to like, what is it that you want done, right? So is it writing a post? Is it like categorizing, f analyzing data? What are the steps? And you can literally think of how would you give a human the uh, instructions, right? So that example I've shown you here just a second ago that generates this table, I literally tell it how I want it, right? So I just give it the exact rundown of how I want this table to be formatted, right? I want 12 separate tables like this and that, right? And then the output is going to be exactly how I want it, right? So that's the idea here. We want to define the exact steps that we want it to, to, to go through, the kind of reasoning for each step as well, and define the desired output and format that we want for this certain prompt. So that's the big idea. So for this uh, YouTube titles one is a really uh, good example, I think. First, I wanted to extract and analyze what, what it, uh, what it can, can digest from this uh, transcript. And once the AI extracted some keywords, themes, potential value props from the transcript, it should then use the following frameworks here, right? And so this is where I'm injecting it with more kind of specific instructions for my use case here, right? So this is where I actually went out and uh, used automation to scrape channels in my niche and then get their all of their YouTube videos and put them into a table for analysis where I now have these uh, top performing videos from all of these channels and I fed all of these top videos into another AI prompt that then generated these frameworks for me here, right? How target audience can make money amount and you get the idea here, right? So these are the actual data based top performing titles from my niche that I then went ahead and abstracted into these frameworks here using another prompt. And I'll show you in just a second how you can do exactly this here and other use cases with, again, any prompt imaginable with a custom prompt builder I built for you guys. So that's, again, the detailed how instructions. And then I tell it to like use uh, these guidelines and finally validate the tit each title you generate against this checklist here. Right. And then I can conclude that. And that's just the exact how instructions of how i want this to be done and that's probably what you're wondering right now how the fuck do i do this so that's where again make sure to join the school community and that's where you get access to this in the classroom you need to actually engage with the community post a poster to actually level up on the leaderboard that's how you unlock all of this good stuff right here and of course if you want access to this right now as you join then just shoot me a message on school i'll uh, i'll shoot you the link to this prompt gpt here but let's say i need a prompt that turns youtube video video transcripts into video chapters. Each chapter should first have the time code followed by a short three to seven word concise and descriptive title. The chapters could either be the key talking points and topics discussed in the video, or if it's a podcast or interview, it might be each individual question that was asked, full stop. So that should do for instructions. I've just used Windows dictation for this and I'm going to give it some more detailed instructions on the format I want here. Okay, even with this prompt builder here, you definitely want to just make sure you give it proper instructions and again, garbage in, garbage out in most cases. However, I've designed it in a way where typically it should ask you some questions if it's unclear on what exactly you want. But as you can see now here, it's now typing up the prompt for us here that we can then go ahead and test. And that's the key part, right? You want to make sure you actually especially if you use automations that use these prompts, you want to make sure you really stress test these out, make sure the results are consistent exactly how you want them to be. And if not, you want to, again, engineer the prompt a little bit, right? So again, this is not going to do all the work for you here. However, let's just give it a quick test here. So I'm just going to copy the whole thing, paste it in, and looks like it didn't do the variables here for the uh, transcript. So I'm just going to hard code quote unquote that in here and then of course would we'll save this and then uh, you can put like a variable here and uh, basically if you replace this using automations you could can find this uh, string and replace it with the actual context and i'll go into that in future videos and make sure to subscribe join the community all that good stuff so that would be the prompt so let me go grab a video transcript real quick. You can just open up any YouTube video. Of course, again, there's automated ways of doing this, right? Typically with the systems I built, you just want to paste in the link and get the whole thing, right? Or connect it to your other workflows. But I'm just going to manually copy this thing real quick here. And then I'm going to go into the prompt, paste it in here. And let's test this bad boy up here, right? And this is again where if it's not exactly how we want it, then we want to go back to the other chat window and I can give it feedback, right? So that's 
that's where we can uh, go from there. So let's check this out. Looks about right. So probably might be a bit too many uh, captors, right? For such a short video. So I'm gonna tell it that, right? Again, I could engineer and prompt this myself here, right? But uh, why would I, if I could just talk to this thing here? That's a good start. However, there are a few too many chapters. I think we should categorize the video. If it's a podcast or interview, there might be a lot of chapters. So every single question that was asked in the interview or podcast might be a single chapter. However, for educational based videos, we might want to limit it to only the key talking points and topics of the discussed video. All right, I'm just going to hit enter here. Now it's going to help me rewrite the prompt here and then we can test it out some more, right? I highly, highly suggest trying to work it in yourself and use the prompt framework that i've taught you here now to again start writing the, these prompts exactly how you want them because chances are again it's now gonna change the prompt slightly where again usually you only need to add like one line of text here here or like a little word here and there and that's gonna make a crazy difference right so again really start practicing this a little bit and you can always go here and test different transcripts first like say right whatever your use case is test different inputs see what the result look like and then just change a couple lines here and there and typically if you're good with the kind of persona that you gave it right and the, the why and the what's I'm obviously you just feed into it then typically the most leverage you're going to get is just by getting more specific in the exact how statements and descriptions here right if the tone of voice is not how you want it then again add a couple lines of like do it like this and that and that maybe feed it some more example of your copywriting and um, let's just copy this again test it out one more time paste it in and just test this out and typically if you want to be actually real legit you probably want to test this through the open ai playground because this is where if you do automated requests this is the most actual representation of that where you can actually choose your model and you can dial in the temperature and uh, a whole bunch of stuff that i'm not going to get into in uh, this video here however again the sky's the limit here make sure to actually test things out give it feedback right and again this is still too many chapters to my liking here so i'm probably just going to go in and tell it that all right i'll put formatting let's just write that here so I just add this little one line of text here and that's probably going to be a huge difference. Keep in mind that this has context of the previous chat request here still in it. So that might can prime it a little bit. But there we go. Now it's less and this looks about right. So I'm happy with where that is. Again, I could always go back, customize this prompt. And again, if you need help with things like that, prompt engineering, building out custom AI automation solutions for your content creation, distribution, project management, all the way up to marketing and sales helping you really get the most out of your current efforts and unlock crazy leverage that you wouldn't even think was possible, then book a call with me somewhere linked around this video here. Join the community and I'll see you on the other side. Make sure to check out my latest videos as well.